Just a quick test of the Lou McCoy Ultimate Trans Match from the July issue of QST Magazine 1970. A lot of people were building these back then, and I got a beautiful, beautiful example of one. Very clean, very well built, extremely functional and precise, and there she sits. Just got it set up last night. And what I did was I pulled the coax off of the back of the 7610 because I wanted to take a reading that included the time wave ANC4 and the SWR meter and the amp and the whole system just as the radio sees it. And... I think in ham radio, they call that a pretty close match. What do you think? One last quick view of this beautiful Lou McCoy design tuner. And you can see everything is very repeatable, I figured out. If I set the left capacitor at 61 and a half, I set the inductor at 262, and I set the right capacitor at 100 and a half. It'll give me the exact same match every time, which is basically flawless. Not bad for 100 bucks. You can't lock 